Hello and welcome back to another video and it's Monday 10th of October and you know what uh, 10th of October is 10 10 22 that's a day well two years after we should have got our amicos <laughs> that's what really I mean, I'm not laughing I'm laughing with incredulity at the whole thing I shouldn't laugh about how Tommy Tallarico stole 17 million dollars um, but especially, and also, he's completely trashed the reputation of not himself and anyone else who he's ever been associated with, and all the YouTubers, but also the, the tragic death of his sister, because he had a sister, Karen, who died on the 10th of October, I, I don't know, I can't remember the year, I'm sorry, but, um, and he thought it'd be a good thing to release, it, release the console in her memory, on 10th of October, which is uh, the anniversary date, so that would have been in 2020. Then it was moved to 2021, and obviously that was just completely forgotten about. Um, and it's that kind of trashing of, of of someone that just it just makes me so it makes me think of the, the, another connection with the Mark Pollard case. I've mentioned this time and time again. Mark Pollard, yep, he ripped me off. You can look it all up in. Um, if you just Google Mark Pollard, Thistle Comedy, Thistle is in the stop, uh, stop port, the Scotland thing, so th Mark Pollard, Thistle Comedy. Um, and yeah, look that up, you'll see the page on my website, DVD Fever, and everything about him. As I've said before, I wouldn't make a, no point make, making a whole video about it, because no one's going to watch it, because um, there's nothing about the Amico in there. But I mean, the parallels with the Amico, I can just bring up until the cows come home, and... Um, yeah, I can just trot it out again and again and just reference you, refer you to the video, as re sorry, refer you to the website page and you can have a look on there. Because that's the kind of thing that that Mark Pollard would do. And in fact, I remember, well, I mean, he, well, he seemed, he, he said various things about his family, none of which were probably true. Just like how, um, as he said, his, uh, well, the, one thing I'll, I'll say in particular, uh, was I remember one time if you go and have a look on the the website I'll try and remember to put a link in the description if you go and have a look on the website there was one time when I was trying to get the money side of things sorted out with him and I went to the Hope Pub one evening while all this was going on and he was he was there with his wife um, Debbie and she was claiming to be all ill so this was just another ruse to try and put me off, you know, charging things for another day. Uh, she's, you know, he's, oh, she's not very well. She's got this kind of thing wrong with her. And, and uh, we're going to take her to the doctor tomorrow, etc., etc. And she didn't look well. She didn't look well at all. But then she never looked well. She always looked like she just had a whole, you know, fistful of drugs down her throat. She just absolutely, like a bloody, bloody junkie that's not even trying to quit. Um, absolutely a fucking hopeless case, the pair of them. And there was nothing wrong with her at all, clearly, because she was just complicit in the scam. So they're just trying to, you know, make someone out to be ill when they're not. Another time he uh, asked, when he went over to Canada and never returned, he tried to borrow £500 from his sister for the airplane ticket. She lent it to him, never saw that money again. So he even stole money from his own sister. What a pile of shit, eh? And so, that's what uh, Tommy Tallarico makes me think of. Mark Pollard. Absolute massive cunt. And so it's very fitting that uh, on the anniversary we have a look at a video uh, that came out. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure when this video came out exactly. Um, sometime, it was sometime before the 10th of October. Now, this I was going to cover another video, which is another John Riggs video, which was... Um, yeah, the other video was when he was opening up all the cards and boxes and uh, to see what was actually inside the, uh, yeah, the the Amico boxes and so on. And it was just a coin and a card. Um, but I looked, yeah, because that was a year on from from today, a year a year ago today. But then I had a look back at a video I made about the Tommy Tallarico. Well, when he uh, when when they did the announcement about these these boxes and the cards, and also. In that video, and I put that live from, I filmed it, I filmed it in the evening on, uh, it was a Sunday then, 10th of October, 
And I filmed that, yeah, I filmed that in the evening, and then I put it up the next day in the morning because I get more hits if I started off in the morning around about nine o'clock. Um, and yeah, but I basically I covered part of that video anyway from John Riggs, and I don't want to just keep repeating old videos. I'm not Metal Jesus Rocks, who's just currently doing best ofs on his channel for various things because he can't think of anything better to do. Um, so let's th you know, then came across uh, this video, which uh, is actually on Odyssey, and it says deleted five reasons not to buy the Intellivision Amico, John Riggs, and. It's not been deleted, it's on his channel still, but it's privated. So he couldn't just re-upload it onto YouTube because that he would still be able to throw a copyright strike at you. Um, this is doing commentary and reactions, so it's a different matter. It's fair use. Uh, but for him, I will say, it seemed for Lady Decade, she, that video where she was crying, she made it private. So if you try to upload the video again, she could just throw a copyright strike. And then, uh, and you'd have no comeback on it. You know, I say fair use videos where you're commenting on it is a different matter altogether. Ah, oh, but um, yeah. So I thought I'd have a, a go through this because I saw bits of it. I'm sure I saw this before. I didn't make a video about it, but my God, it was fucking embarrassing when it came out because he's pretending these are five reasons, five reasons not to buy the Intellivision Amico. Yet he's shilling for the bloody thing. It's just quite disgusting, really. But I I tried to find it, sort of, see if I could still find it uh, on YouTube at all, if, in case there was still a, an option for it on there. Because um, I, I couldn't find it at the time. And then I, just, then again, when I found the Odyssey link, which I, I realised I had seen before the other day, but I just I'd lost track of where things were. Uh, but when I tried searching for John Riggs, Five Reasons Not to Buy the Amico, I came across something else. Um, and is it because I put John Riggs in the search box? Um, <laughs> this I came across the most fucking bizarre thing ever. Can you guess what it is? Um, <laughs> now, I'm not even going to repeat the title of this. Because, as I've said, yeah, so, uh, I'm not sure whether I've said it on a video I've uploaded or a video I'm soon to upload. But um, YouTube doesn't like certain words. And, you know, if I say the words, then it, the algorithm can pick it up. And so I don't want to say it at all. Um, but you can see it there. And so I'll just go through this one first. It's only, a, it's only like a four and a half minute video. But it's because the guy looks like John Riggs. Um, I'm not sure whether day f so it's day 40 <clears throat> tries not to be creepy. I don't know where the day 40 thing comes into it. Um, this video says September 9th, 2020. Uh, the guy's called Anime Saved My Life. Now, when I looked at it, uh, I'm filming this on Sunday evening. Uh, I actually watched it Sunday afternoon, and it had one point. Well, yeah, well, I went for a, uh, I was out for a walk at the time. I had a very nice walk. Did me 10,000 steps. Um, I'm trying still to get a good walk out you know, on a weekend day, um, even when the weather's starting to turn, and it's going to really piss me off when we get to uh, deep into winter, and the, the nights are drawing in even sooner. Because I remember last year, I mean, obviously it'll happen every year, but I just remembered last year in particular when we got to when we got to December 21st, and it was it was literally pitch black. I know that the going the clocks changing in October really doesn't help. I wish they'd stop that, but it got to about about 3:50 p.m. and it had gone pitch black by then. Now I'm glad when it starts getting brighter again, even though it does get a bit ridiculous later on when you know it's like 10 o'clock at night. When we get around to June 21st, it's 10 o'clock at night and it's still bloody bright bright outside. That's ridiculous. And then you get round to you have trouble sleeping that night because. Uh, well, any night around then, because um, it's absolutely, yeah, you know, it's like someone's shining a light in your face at uh, bloody 4 a.m. or something. And then I have trouble sleeping after that. Uh, why can't they just have a balance where it just stays, it just, the light stays the same all year round? Um, you know, going, you know, sort of going down at around about 8.30 perhaps, 8, 8.30, and then going light around. I don't know, 8 a.m., half 7, 8 a.m. or something. If they could sort of figure that out, that'd be better. But um, 
So yeah, yeah. So so he had one point four seven. Uh, oh, hang on a sec. Party pops. So we had one point four seven. Uh, one point four seven thousand. One thousand four hundred seventy subscribers, basically. Um, and he's so he's he's gained about forty today. Uh, the the views have shot up uh, within the space of a day. And this is because there's a guy who's um, when it when the search came up. Um, even though this guy looks a bit like John Riggs, it was actually someone else's video, Odin's Men, that it came up with. And we'll just we'll get into the video anyway, because um, oh, the guy the guy seems okay, but. Uh, but just, it's just because he looks like John Riggs. That's the only, why, that's the only reason why it's um, quite interesting. But um, yeah, but let's have a look first of all before we get into John Riggs and his silly amigo. Now I'll put the subtitles on because he's not the clearest uh, speaker. So um, the subtitles help, will help, even though on this silly system, when I... Oh, it doesn't help. Let's try... Da, 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 da. Try to put it like a background on or something and um da, 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 background opacity is that better oh look so a lot of us doesn't help at all these options for subtitles really are crap i mean if i do do zero that doesn't help at all whatever i put there's always something in the background anyway but and even though i put um that I want white text. Uh, it's hmm. it doesn't really help, does it? These stupid subtitle system. You just want to make it. Uh, uh. Font opacity. Oh, that's better. I was actually able to make it bright. Ah, oh, you can actually bloody read it now. That's better. <sighs> shall, we, uh, shall we get started? So, a lot of us incels deal with even random women in public. Uh, find us creepy. And a lot of us can't even think of why. Like, we can only understand why. And we go through a list in our head of what we did. And just... Just we can't figure out why. I mean, quite frankly, stop stop over analyzing yourself. Stop stop putting yourself down. Never mind. If someone, if someone, you know, is, I mean, if, I don't I don't know what the issue is, but if someone does come up to him and say, "Oh, you're creepy, etc." Why just tell him to fuck off? That's just the thing. If someone's being an absolute pain in the ass and they're obviously doing it to your face, he should just tell them to bloody well do one. And people say, don't be creepy. And we ask, okay, what am I doing that's creepy? And they can't name it. I mean, well, the, just just don't mention anything about being creepy. Why why would you even bring it up in the first place? And if, if someone else brings it up, just tell them to do one. Just 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 don't even entertain the, the notion of being creepy in the first place. And then it won't come up. And then there'll be nothing to discuss. And you shouldn't even worry about it. And we can't figure it out. Uh, for me, it's because I've been ugly. That's one thing I can think of that makes me think I'm up. As they say, there's a, a, a lid for every pot. So everyone should find someone. Everyone should find someone. Um, I'm still trying to find my one. But um, they say they say everyone should find someone. Um, unless I did find one, and then it, it was a relationship that ran its course, and it's gone, and... Uh, are we supposed to find the one that's, that's going to stay with us forever? I don't know. Um, but but yeah, never put yourself down. You, but yeah, you shouldn't think of yourself as being ugly. Um, there'll be a woman out there who thinks the complete opposite. So yeah, don't put yourself down on that. You shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't worry about that fella. Um, creepy. And in this case, psychology calls it. The devil effect. It's actually a documented psychological phenomenon. It's documented. The devil effect is when one makes negative judgments based off of pre off of a predetermined negative judgment. 
Now that's what I don't understand. So the devil effect is a negative judgment based on <coughs> excuse me. A negative judgment based on a predetermined ne negative judgment. I don't quite get that. Um, what I will do is, uh, what I will say at this point is, um, something happens in the background later on in this video, around about halfway through. Can you guess what it's going to be? Uh, if you if you know, then we're at 55 seconds. So put a comment in the video now, uh, the video comments now. What do you think is going to be the thing that happens in the background? <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> I like it. Um, but yeah, put it in the comments and then um, resume. Uh, no skipping ahead just to, to find out and actually women find a guy creepy simply because he's unattractive no that's again it's, it's a personal a personal choice you know i you might find oh, it's a bit of an unfortunate pausing of the video you might find someone unattractive as well you may find a woman attractive she may find you attractive you know if someone fancies you they won't find you unattractive Stop thinking that they'll all find you unattractive. You shouldn't correlate the creepiness and unattractive when there's no creepiness. And it's just the unattractive is something that doesn't need to be said because not every woman will think that. And if a woman does find you unattractive, move on to the next one. It is in fact documented by psychologists. This is it's, this has actually been documented. I mean, well, it sounds like the, the psychiatrists have had nothing better to do than write a load of bollocks for that day. And, you know, the opposite is the halo effect, which is when a person has positive judgments about someone based off of preconceived judgments about them that are positive. Uh, so if you are, you know, shaking your head listening to this, well, think about it yourself. Uh, you don't have to put this in the comments, but guys, how many times have you saw a relationship with a girl who was a bitch? Yeah, because she was hot, even though you turned down women who were less attractive, but were really nice. Oh, by the way, I mean, I, yeah, I turned on the, the option that had um, the sort of uh, mutes. Well, it doesn't, doesn't mute the word, but um, it, it doesn't come up in the subtitles if there's like a, a bit of a rude word in there. Um, so he's saying sometimes men favour the women who are nasty to them, even though they're hot, over women who are less attractive but really nice. Well, again, it's it's all in the the eye of the beholder. You know, people like <clears throat> people like different things. Um, and yeah, you always sometimes you can get you see them at school or you know, at work or whatever. When you get, you know, there's always someone who you fancy, but you know they don't fancy you, and they might seem a bit bit of a the word he said and the hot but uh, just just ignore them and just 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 go for what attracts you in both in for both being pleasant and attractive there will be some and if someone is nice then you're gonna find them more attractive internally and in turn that will be externally as well it will happen and for women, how many times have you, uh, you know, sought out a relationship with a guy that was, well, that wasn't good? So did you guess it? Well, it wasn't almost, it wasn't quite halfway through, but it just, it was that like a poster or something? Even though you turned down women who were less attractive, but were really nice. And for women, how many times have you, uh, you know, sought out a relationship with a guy that was... Well, that wasn't good. <laughs> just, it's like, just, just sort of waiting there two minutes and then goes, right, I've had enough now. I'm falling over. An asshole, because he was hot, and turned out, turned away guys that were, you know, not that attractive, that were nice, you know? That's the halo effect and the devil effect, effect taking place. You know? That you I'm not really entirely sure what he's going on about, but... Um... Yeah, you know, that that thing falling down, that was good. You don't have to put the comments, but ask yourself, you know, how many times has this actually happened to you? So, until the end of the month, I'm going to be trying something uh, to see if I can stop being creepy, uh, trying something. Stop saying that you're being creepy. You're not, the only thing that's 
nothing's creepy. You just you're just it's your perceived notion. Just stop saying you're being creepy, and then no one no one will be thinking that you're being creepy because you're not being creepy. It's just weird. You keep talking about it. You're obsessed about it. Stop saying it. Um, I because of COVID, a lot of places are closed uh, to uh, you know a lot of people. You got tables that are uh, part, you know, partitioned off. You got uh, tables separated quite a bit. So I'd have to be around women in order to really test this. Uh, the one good thing is that one of my jobs, there's the one woman who finds me creepy. Um, thank how do you know she she said how, does she say that and if she is how, if she is saying that and if she's saying it to other people at work I'd be having a word with the manager and just um <coughs> excuse me hold up I'd be having a word with the manager and get them to um put a stop to all that but she's not going to report me just because she finds me creepy because she will by now but this is a good way to test to see if she stops finding me creepy so. Yeah, um, probably by the end of the month, I'll let you know if this works. You know, I have autism, so this might be really good for autism cells. But, you know, honestly, we'll find out how this goes. But, you know, this is the devil effect and the halo effect. So, you know, you don't have to put in the comments if it's true or not, but just ask yourself. Have you ever chosen to treat someone differently or seek someone out because of how physically attractive they were? Whether you're a girl or a guy, you know? Well, you, you, you go for someone who's physically attractive, but then if they end up being a complete what's it, like you were saying, um, that would be an off-putting, and then you'd go elsewhere. Has physical appearance... Um, physical attractiveness ever uh, impacted their desirability as a romantic partner or a friend or even just how you treat them you know has uh, the hot guy or the hot girl at work ever been treated better you know as the ugly person uh, been treated worse you know it's like is it just high school or has it kind of happened in adult life too I mean, yeah, it's the kind of thing that would happen in, in school, but, um, yeah, at least if you have it happening in adult life, then uh, there's processes processes in place in most businesses to put a stop to that these days. Well, have a good day. Are you having a Miko day as well, sir? All right, that's on to... Uh, yeah! Oh, it's onto John Riggs. So we'll just start it from the beginning, and it's a very weird beginning the way he does it. Come on, move back. Hang on. There we go. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Get a bit more water. I will say, just, as, just about to start on Channel 4, um, so it will have long since finished by the time this video goes live. Can you ever forgive me? A drama with... Um, Melissa McCarthy and Richard E. Grant came out in 2018. Um, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it was the first time I'd watched a Melissa McCarthy film and actually really enjoyed it because uh, previously most of all the most of her films have been shit. Uh, Spy, that was a good comedy, but then that was the first thing I saw her in. And then you realise that every other comedy film she made is just uh, the same thing again and again and again. So the, the law of diminishing returns soon kicks in. Um, but then, yeah, oh, the Ghostbusters remake, my God. Well, not rebate, the like a reboot that, that was, but the, it, it lost money basically, so they, they didn't make any more, thankfully. Plus, it was bloody awful. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, on to uh, Riggs. Riggs! Riggs! Do not buy the Intellivision Amico. Yeah, oh, <laughs> you can't, can you? <laughs> but it's just, it's just fucking embarrassing. No wonder he's fucking made this video private. Um, uh, it's just sad. And I'll tell you why. This is coming from me. This is the guy who was there at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo when Tom... Oh, God. It says so much, but says so little. I mean, his crew were there unveiling the idea, the first instance, what it looks like, the design and everything for the Intellivision Amico. Calm down. Is there a... I know on YouTube there's a thing where you can um, 
stop them saying, oh, hang on, point five about that. Well, I was there. You've heard me humble brag about it. <laughs> humble bragging about it. He sounds like John Hancock. Let's just see how that, that might be better, actually. It might calm him down. At E3, getting this special sneak preview with... <laughs> it actually sounds like he's, had a, like he's had a brain injury. Oh, God. Just, um, I might have to put it back again. <laughs> let's, let's go with it anyway. It's funny. Tommy and the rest of the crew playing an actual Miko on actual system on <laughs> actual hardware with actual games. God, he's still going 10 to the dozen, but he's half at half speed. It was on an actual controller. I was there at E3. <laughs> oh, he's like he's had a stroke or something, or, or too many pints. Looking into it and seeing what it can do, and all these other great things, I was totally bought into it. I've done Actually, it's more like, it sounds more like his IQ following... Uh, Believing the Amico hype all so long. Um, videos on this in the past on why the Intellivision Amico is great. However, there's new information that's coming out now that I cannot wait. I cannot wait for some other publication to pick it up. I cannot wait for someone else to come out with new information. New information. Let's just see what it's like at um, quarter speed. About this, you need to know this because you're my friend. <laughs> you need to know this because you're my friend. Oh, good lord. We're 43 seconds in. I wonder if we put it on. Hang on. Let's put it on. Two speed. I'm going to go back to 43 seconds in a minute because this is going to be ridiculous. And you need to know the truth on five reasons why you should not buy an intelligent Amico. Before we get to that, I want to thank Otis for sponsoring this video. Let's uh, go back 43. Let's go 42. Just um, let's go back to yeah, I'll do half. Oh. Because you're my friend, and you need to know the truth. Oh God, he's zoomed in. Truth. On five reasons why you should not buy an Intellivision Amico. Before we get to that, I want to thank Otis for sponsoring this video. God, I bet they're really pleased. Now, you've seen it all over social media. People are buying, like, you know, cryptocurrency and stuff like that. And that might be a little bit confusing for you, but... No, oh, so it's crypto thing, so... I saw the video from, I don't know whether I make a video about it, I know uh, <clears throat> Darius and Canadian Gamer have done it, but uh, a Boogie 298 video where he's, he's got no money and he wants he wants all your money because he lost his in the crypto market um, when there was a crypto crash between last year and now. Um, yeah, so I wrote this still around. Let's just, um, let's have a look. Bear with me. Bear with, bear with. Otis Crypto. Let's see now. Can you make money on Otis? Oh, that's just an advert for it. Uh, Otis. Twitter handle at with Otis. Um, they still seem to be going. Um, but they don't post very often. Posted June 3rd, June 7th, September the 8th, September 28th. So... Yeah, they're sort of around, but uh, not really doing very much. <clears throat> Let's carry on anyway. What I like about Otis, it's an alternative investment. Oh, let me skip past this shit. Cards and it has drops all the time. Nine two. No account. No more free time. Oh, right, so we're back on to uh, the actual <clears throat> Amico shit now. Come on. Reason number one for not buying an Intellivision Amico, you will have no more free time left. Well, I'm sure you have plenty of free time because if you if you bought an Amico, you'd, you'd play a game for about if you know you'd have seconds of entertainment, and then um, you'd uh, go back to talking to other people in the household. Uh, yeah, 
But then you don't have to buy an Amico because uh, it's never coming out anyway. This thing is launching with at least 35 games. Yeah, how well, how well did this video age? That's at launch. The Nintendo 64, Mr. High Praise, Mr. Everyone Loves the Nintendo 64, two games at launch. And then you had to wait a month for two more games. That's... That was real. Well, that was 25 years ago. Then again, they actually came out with games, unlike uh, the Amico. Back in the 90s. This Intellivision Amico is launching with 35 games at launch. They're developing 50 games as we speak right now. Mm, they weren't ready, were they? Probably even more than that. Doubtful. You're not going to have any free time after this thing comes out. Never mind what other games you might be playing on other consoles. And I'm not, I'm not worried about the other consoles. I'm well, yeah, I've got I've got zillions of games I could be playing. Yeah, I mean, I've got I've got I've got no much free time after making bloody Amico videos because they take up a lot of my time. But uh, yeah, they're fun to do, aren't they? Um, I'm glad people enjoy watching them. Um, I mean, yeah, I've even thought of games I've bought on Steam and thought, yeah, I'll, I'll buy that when it's in a sale. And I bought it. Have I played it? Have I bugger? <laughs> and it just sits there on naught hours, naught minutes played. So, um, you know, it's like I could have got a refund on Steam many times over. Then why would I want to do that? Because I'd only have to wait for the, the, the thing to come around on sale again. And then I'd buy it again. And then I wouldn't get around to playing it. It's like, um, yeah, a few, yeah, maybe 10 years ago or so, I sort of dreamed I could just buy loads and loads of old games consoles. And, uh, no, God, this is even longer ago. Because, <clears throat> um, before I start, before I, I had a back bedroom, I could have just, I thought, oh, I could. I can have loads of TV set up and loads of... I mean, now, obviously, you can have um, one TV and just like a, a... You know, if you had all the games consoles. So I'd have loads of games consoles, but I only need one TV. I was going to say I'd have loads of games consoles and loads of TVs, loads of 14-inch TVs. Imagine imagine the, the power draw on that. Um, but then, really, you, know, you could just get uh, lots of games consoles going into one TV with like a an all-in-one unit or something like that. So you... You just you just got one TV to base it around, um, but then anyway, I turned the back bedroom into a massive bathroom, so uh, that's that's much better use of my space. And in any effect, you could you could have all these consoles and a TV to come on to, but when you're actually going to get around to playing the bloody thing, you're not. You know, you can have loads of emulators and loads and download all the games, and then when do you go around to but you when do you get around to playing all the games? And then, as as I found in the last sort of six months to a year, um, or six to eight months, um, it gets around to the weekend when you've got more free time. And quite frankly, yeah, I could spend all day in the house playing video games. But quite frankly, uh, because because um, I mean, I would have felt like spending all the time in all my free time in the ha in the house over weekend normally. But then, after two years of lockdown and and working from home all that time. What I want to do is just get out more. So even at the weekend, I just want to get out more because well, because because I spent half the week at home. Uh, yeah, so I spent about half the week in the office, but I spent half the week at home as well. Whereas before, I would have normally spent all the week in the office. So I'd be happy of any time spent at home. But now it's it's better in a way because if I'm half if I'm at home half the time anyway, then. I can actually make better use of the weekends by going out and seeing other people and talking to people. And even if you go for a walk, sometimes you'll have inconsequential, inconsequential conversation with people. And I'll enjoy that. And that's something that wouldn't have happened had we not had the lockdowns, etc. And I would still be sat at home at the weekends just frittering the inside of time away. Or the frittering of the time away inside and not going outside. Ah, that's, uh, that's my mental state anyway. Let's, uh, let's get on. I'm talking about the Intellivision Amico. 35 games at launch? Are you kidding me? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you 
you have, you have to make some tough choices. Then do you like deleting your video or hiding it? When it comes to this thing, you have to lose some hobbies along the way to fit in all these games that you're going to have to play with this thing. Yeah, you play them for about 10 minutes and then they won't take up any more of your time. Reason number two, you're going to have to buy new pants. Well, I, th I think you have to buy new pants often. Uh, pants are trousers in the US. Pants in the UK are underpants. Now this... What would Americans call underpants then? This is a real <clears throat> thing for me. I'm talking about you need to buy pants because these games, when they come out at launch... The digital games are always going to be less than 10 bucks. <sighs> this worked out well, didn't it? Digital greater than $10. Or did you mean the less than $10 physical? It's not clear from what he's saying, but so I think he's digital are about $10. They're supposed to be $10 maximum, physical $20 maximum, but it didn't really quite work out, did it? You know, $9.99 is going to be the highest price for a digital game. Physical copies of games, less than 20 bucks. Yeah, you get free uh, biodegradable cardboard, uh, plastic coin, and a piece of card that supposedly connects to the tap on the console. It was bollocks anyway. Are you kidding me? Holes will be... Well, no, not kidding you. It's just the games are worth two bucks at most. ...burning in your pants to the point where you're going to have to... What's burning? Are you kidding me? Holes will be burning in your pants to the point where you're going to have to keep replacing them. And you don't want this. You don't need this. Shopping for clothes sucks to begin with. It's not difficult at all. You just go on the website and, and order them. Or go down to the shop and and buy them and um, see other people while you're down there and chat to other people. You remember chatting to other people? I mean, you're going to have to... You're, you're going to have... You're, I guess you're just going to have to invest in... You're going to have to have a fucking shave, mate, and get your hair cut. Jesus Christ, that's skull it. In a clothing company or learn how to stitch yourself because, I mean, these all the holes in your pockets, your, your keys are going to drop out of your pants all the time. Your kid's going to give you something to put in your pocket. It's going to slip right through you. Well, they don't have pockets themselves. Do you not do you not buy trousers for your kids that have pockets? You don't want this, man. Okay, Cyberpunk was sixty bucks, and I like Cyberpunk, but I played it for about five minutes. I meant to play more, but I think the PC I was running it on was um, was it this PC? No, I think I, I think I tried it on my older PC at the time, and it. Uh, wasn't the greatest, and then never got around to trying it on the newer PC. I think, I can't remember. Uh, it was last year, I've had a sleep since then. 60 bucks for a game that was buggy and glitchy and everything when it first came out. For the Intellivision Amico, 20 bucks? Yeah, but I think there's a difference between Shark Shark and, and, and um, skiing. It's about 10 minutes of entertainment versus Cyberpunk, which could you could play for many, many hours. It's a slight bit of a fucking difference, eh, fella? For a physical copy of a game, man, I don't know how they're making any money out of this thing, but it's... <laughs> well, very easily. They stole $17 million. You're, again, going back to the too many games to play... You're going to be at a loss. Too many games. And all cheap. I want to bring in my daughter Lily here. Hi. Hi. I first saw this video on mute. I didn't know whether that was a boy or a girl. Um, number three is you won't be able to see your kids anymore. Well, they seem pleased at that anyway. 
It's not that you won't be able to see your kids anymore. It's just that you won't be able to see your kids anymore. Be well, that really, that's, that's clear as bloody mud, fella. Because you're going to be too busy playing all these great games. Or Lily, in this case, will be playing all these great games. So we'll be too focused looking at the screen or looking at the controller that has the little touch things and all that, all that on there. I mean, yeah, we can play games together. But we won't be looking at each other. This might be the last time I ever see her. That's it. Why wouldn't the kids be playing the game with you? Oh, they've, no, they've, they've probably got a switch. They've got better things to do. Like go outside and talk to people. <laughs> this is the last time. How do you feel about that? Sad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. See? Don't do this to yourself. You want to be able to spend time with the kids, play with the kids. I think playing video games is great. Play, playing video games together is a, is a great, uh, you know, activity to do as a family. Um, that's That was one of the founding ideas about the Intellivision in the first place. It was a family console. Families played it together. All these games were two-player, multiplayer, four-player games on a lot of the games for the Amico. But with all these games that are coming out and they're all family-friendly, we're at we're at a we're, again we're at another loss. Too many losses are happening with this thing. Sounds like he's lost all his bloody brain cells. Honestly. Honestly. Reason number two, you're going to have to make some really tough decisions on where to... Reason number two, this is reason number four. I think that brain injury has kicked in again. Put your other consoles. Now, I saw the Intellivision Amico myself. I actually held on to one. I actually looked at the back to see what kind of ports it used and stuff like that. It's a decent sized console. Not too big, not too small. But if you're like me, you only have so much shelf space on where stuff goes. I'm sure the wife can kick you out, and then you know your wife will have plenty more, uh, floor, well, plenty more shelf space once she's got rid of all your shit. So you know whether you're, you know, you have your, you know, your your PlayStation and your Xbox, and you want to have your Switch dock somewhere too. But then you know you have all these mini consoles too. At least I do. And it's like, I don't want to put any of these away, but... We have to put stuff away, but yeah, the mini consoles, at least uh, <clears throat> that's something that seems to have largely gone away, apart from the new uh, the Sega Mega Drive thing that's coming out. But apart beyond that, they all seem to have just disappeared. But I'm going to have to make some tough decisions here on what stays and what goes because the the Intellivision Amico is going to have to stay because we're going to be using it. That means that we're going to be, I mean, you know, do I stash the Xbox Series S for now? So you got an S, why don't you get an X? Do I, do I hide it somewhere else so I don't even see it? I mean, I don't want to just put it on the floor with all the other cords and stuff like that. I mean, it's, you're gonna, it's, it's gonna be some tough decision making. That's, that's coming from you. Reason number five of the reasons you do not want to get the Intellivision Amico. This actually might be the, the biggest, uh, the biggest one here is you're not only going to have to put up with your friend's friend, but maybe even your friend's 
wife. Now, this is also assuming that by this time, by the time this system launches... Gotcha, yeah, I've even forgotten what's, what's number five again. Put up with the others, others, others in fighters play. You're... I'll be honest, I'm, just... <laughs> I'm losing, my, my brain's losing the will to, to think. Your friend's friend, but maybe even your friend's wife. Now, this is also assuming that by this time, by the time this system launches, we'll be a little bit better handled with the whole, with the, uh, you know, with the, the situation that's happening right now. Like, you know, us specifically, you know, I'm not going into my friend's house. My friends aren't coming over to my house, at least for the the meantime. By the time this system launches... Phew. 2026? By the time this system gets out there, the uh, whole idea of couch co-op. What a great idea. Well, it's been around years. Lots of consoles have it. I love couch co-op. We need more of that in our lives. Have some friends over, share some drinks, have some laughs, play games next to each other, you know, elbowing each other, stuff like that. That's the best part about it. But with these games, and some of these games, again, four-player games, you're going to bring your friend along, and then their friend might bring their friend along, who... And they all want to play the Amica, I very much doubt it. You are familiar with, but they don't get out of the house much, probably for all the right reasons. <laughs> you have to put up with that now. Or maybe even the friend's wife, who, uh, no, the, the, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna say one thing or another, but, you know, I, it's, it might be something that happens. To <laughs> just, it just, it just seems to have just gone, uh, yeah, definitely the brain seems to have seized up. Let's say that again. With, but they don't get out of the house much, probably for all the right reasons. <laughs> you have to put up with that now. Or maybe even the friend's wife, who, uh, no. The friends have wives? Do your friends have wives? Do you have a wife? I don't, I don't even want to know that. Oh, the, the, well, I'm not, I'm not going to say one thing or another, but, you know, I, but it's, it might be something that happens to you. It's like it's turned into Andy Kaufman or something. <laughs> you and you would have to figure out what you do next with uh, under those circumstances and situations. I am fortunate because I like my friends' friends and I like my friends' wives. However... You may be under a different situation than that, but it's something I definitely wanted to bring to your attention before you even think about getting the Intellivision Amico. My Intellivision Amico, it's already on pre-order, got the Founders Edition with the wood grain. I'm looking for... Did you ever get a refund out of that? I wonder. Forward to it, but then all these other things are adding up to, like, the, is it really going to be worth it in the end? I mean, am I going to have to just keep on replacing my pants? I mean, I'll have extra money. I don't really want to think about you taking your trousers off. From all the games that I'm buying anywhere are going to be super cheap. 
you know, I'll only, I'll only know what my kids look like by their grade school photos on our refrigerator. Well, if you need more... Well, they, they just seem like Violet Beauregard and... Uh... <clears throat> I can't really add anything else to that. Information about the Amico, and you want to see what cool games are coming out here in the near future. What future? There is no future for the uh, for the Amico. Make sure you follow them on social media. But, man, I'm telling you right now, with all these things added up, it might be your best interest. Do not get the Intellivision Amico, I'm telling you. <laughs> is, that the, is that his last thing? You want to see what cool games are coming out here in the near future, make sure you follow him on social media. Yeah, that worked out really well, didn't it? They deleted all the, bloody, uh, the videos, half the videos they put out. Well, it's only all the Earthworm Jim videos anyway. But, man, I'm telling you right now, with all these things added up, it might be your best interest to not get the Intellivision Amico. How this <clears throat> supposed humor ended up being ironically true. I'm telling you. <laughs> no one... No wonder he deleted why well, he made this private. <laughs> I don't I, I don't know. I thought it was funny. <sighs> well he's shilling for Otis anyway. So at least someone got something out of it. Oh no, let's not not let's not have um any more videos. Anyway, that's um yeah, that's I think I was more interesting with that. I'm certainly not playing it, playing it again anyway. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. My brain's turned to mush watching that. <laughs> oh, it's funny watching him talk at half speed. Anyway, please like this video, share it with your friends. You put all the comments in the comments section below. Um, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell for all the notifications. Happy Amico release date and Q Genesis.